And we're back, baby. For some more Meowth hunting. Ah, oh, boy. Meowth, that's right. Meowth, that is freaking right. Um. Let's see. Copy link. Whoosh. I tweeted about it. People said I wouldn't do it, but I did it. Everyone said he's not brave enough. He's too quiet. He's never gonna actually tweet about it, but he but he did. So there's nothing you can say now besides he really did do it. And that's true. But let's check out our meows. See if we can get a jumbo today. This will be our 57th Meowth. And frankly, I'm about it. I'm ready. I've been working really hard today. Working on a lot of different things. So, <clears throat> very excited to have taken a break. Get some meows in. Some meowth encounters in. <clears throat> I realize I've been kind of just sitting in my room, uh, not talking at all today. And I'm going straight from that to, ooh, nice credit, to uh, live streaming. Um, so if my voice is a little raspy, that's why. I'm not used to talking at all today. I've barely done... I say I haven't done anything. I've done a lot. I just haven't done anything that's like a part of a typical day. Um, I was making comic books today. I've been making comics. Um, there's an event coming up this weekend where I'm going to be at a table at a little comic convention selling some stuff. And uh, I'm really excited about it. So... Wanted to make sure he had a lot of good things to show off and sell. Um, I made a comic over Twitter um, a year ago. Yeah, I guess so. Man, time flies. I made a comic about a year ago that I printed out and I made really cute little books of. Um, they came out amazing. So I'm really excited to share them. Uh, it's a story that I've posted before, and I've even made the books before, so I knew what I was doing, but, uh, they came out so good. Uh, I'm only excited to be showing them off again. Slight bigger than average, not big enough. So, if you're new here and we don't really, you don't really know what we're doing, we are resetting for a jumbo-marked Terra Meowth. And then when we get that Meowth, that's the Meowth we're going to use for the entire run of the game. Just that Meowth. Um, should be fun. <clears throat> but I wanted to get a Meowth that wasn't just some random Meowth. I wanted to get one that was a little a little bit special. I didn't want to commit to a full like shiny hunt. Um, so going for the Jumbo Mark is kind of perfect. Because you see... You know, if you're familiar with marks in Pokemon, any random Pokemon, like that Squavit, or I think there's a Bonsly that runs around here during my resets. Is that you right there? No, it's another Squavit. Any Pokemon can have a mark. And a mark is just a little identifier that it's just for fun. It doesn't do anything to make them better or worse, but it's cute. And 
Terra Pokemon actually aren't capable of having any marks, except for the Jumbo Mark. So, I think it's kind of perfect for uh, this little guy here, but the crazy thing about this Meowth is that it does usually kill our Pikachu. Sorry, our Paldean Meowth. You might be wondering why I'm not using a Paldean Meowth for this run. Eh, I just felt like going with the Cantonian Meowth. Just kind of felt like keeping it, you know. I'm kind of a Gen 1-er, you know. I'm not. I'm just kidding. I, I promise I'm not. I wouldn't be playing this game if I wasn't. Um, but see? Yeah. Look, kill their Pikachu. So now what? We bring out our other Pal Paldean Meowth. Just as good, if not better, honestly. Uh, Paldean Meowth has some really cool typing. Looks really different, too. You gotta commend them for the design. Um, it's pretty pretty stellar. But yeah, so I was working on comic books all day. I made that one comic, which is like an original comic I made where I let Twitter polls decide how the comic went, which was really fun to make. Um, I have that one, and then I'm also printing out a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic that I made with a buddy of mine. His name was Moses. Fantastic artist, fantastic friend. Um, and uh, I'm really excited to show those off to the world. Um, it's a great little book. Uh, the print quality is really nice. What's actually funny is I had this stockpile of uh, like computer paper, but from the dollar store. So it was really thin and really flimsy, and I actually really loved it. Um, I don't really think that I'm like a texture person or whatever. Let's see, serious biggin, nope. That's not it, so another reset, down. Um, but I actually really preferred this cheap, thin dollar store paper over like typical computer paper. Um, but, uh, I ran out of my dollar store paper and my dollar store didn't have any more paper. So, uh, I just went to Staples and I just bought some paper. <laughs> so, oh well. Um, uh, and it turns out that real paper is really nice too. Um, who knew, right? Who knew? So, uh, as much as I wish I just used... As much as I wish I just had more of the regular paper, the dollar store paper, I should say. Um, nice paper is really nice, and that's pretty cool. So, but yeah, been a pretty chill day. Oh, come on. I just saw you. I still don't get why it does that. Oh, well. We just close it and boot it back up again. Hope for another another Meowth. I am enjoying this uh, static static hunt in uh, Violet. Not used to doing it. I mean, I didn't really do a lot of shiny hunting in the first place in Gen Nine. Um, so like the other method, I say the other method, the only other way to get shinies just by running around and everything. It's too straining. It's too straining on the eye. I did... I was looking for a shiny Bagon um, on my birthday and back in November. The game like first came out and I was looking for a shiny Bagon. I didn't even know about um, the Paradox elements. I didn't even know about that. I just, I just knew Bagon would be easy enough to spot you know green instead of blue I figured that okay that's a good enough target I'll be able to see it and um, instead I managed to find a shiny earthworm uh, which I wasn't looking for I didn't know what the shiny looked like just saw a blue worm I've always wanted to see a blue worm Lower my attack. I don't care. Sweet. 
Is that enough? Yes, it is enough. Excellent. Broked. Meowth has been broked. We're um, always using the right balls because part of the fun of using uh, a Meowth with a mark, specifically the um, the Jumbo mark, is that when I throw him out into battle, it'll say uh, whatever the nickname is, the Great. So. Um, Meowth of the Great in a Great Ball. I mean, come on. I don't really have a choice. It's perfect. You know? Alright, lady, come on. Give me a big Meowth. I'd love for you to judge my, my huge Meowth, please. Good... Seems a good sight bigger than average. That's nothing. That's like the first time I actually like read that. And that's Meowth number 60. As long as they're different Meowths, we're making progress. Currently I'm working on a couple other shiny hunts. The main one that I'm focusing on is in Generation 4, uh, Pokemon Pearl. I'm hatching a shiny... I'm trying to hatch a shiny Charmander. Hey, fellow streaming man, how are you? What's going on, Thionite? Nice to see ya. I'm just, uh, milling about here. You know me. Kitty cat this, kitty cat that. It's all I do. Whether it's Littens or Meowths, Incineroar, whatever, you know. How's the hunt going? Hunt's going all right. This this will be our 61st, whew, 61st uh, Meowth encounter. Odds are at about, I think there were 56 to find the Jumbo mark. Um, one in 56 for the Jumbo mark. Ah, and uh, there goes our Pikachu. I spoke too soon about getting this Meowth as our 61st. Oh gosh, 61st. But I've been working on a bunch of other stuff today. So I decided to take a little break, do some resets. <laughs> yeah, better odds than a shiny for sure. Because I, I, at first I thought about going for a shiny, but... I just don't think I can with with how long the resets are in this game. And you know, to the people who do it, only more power to them. But not this guy. I, at least not right now. I I really want to play the game, honestly. Like it's been long enough since I played it the first time. I really want to, you know, play it again, experience everything all over again, and see how I feel revisiting events and areas and stuff. I, I keep thinking about, oh, this is the first time we've actually like full on lost. Lost, not lost. that's nothing. Uh, so what happens? Overwhelmed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's also my thinking. I really like the marks for those those reasons. Like, I don't think I really took advantage of marks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't really take advantage of marks in Sword and Shield. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm trying to in this game. I think this is you. Is that that stupid Diglett again? No, that's an actual Terra Den. It's in the grass. It's over that way. Okay. What have you been up to today? Anything crazy going on? Hope y'all are good. Like I said, I've just been working on some personal projects here and there. And been dreaming about playing this all day today. 
I just, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a busy boy, you know, so I don't get to do a lot of progress, but I wanted to make some progress. Every, every couple days I think about making some progress in this. But I, I agree, I think the mark is like, oh, the best. Ooh, recording for Stardews. Nice. You don't stream Stardew, right? You just, I guess you just film it. Uh, Cause I don't ever see you stream Stardew. I don't think I do. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm I'm bad. I'm not on Twitch all the time. Um, am I doing this wrong? Whatever. We'll never know. Free time is good. I really got to bother you sometime for. Uh... All right, cool. That's what I thought. Just making sure I'm not missing out. Um, that mod you're running is really cool. I mean, I'm not someone who like knows a lot about Stardew. I've tried playing it a couple times. I think it's just not... For, I know it's amazing, and I know it's really good. It just doesn't click with me for some reason. Um, and I wish it did. I, I'm, I, that's one of those things where I like fully feel like I'm missing out on. But you do a good job at explaining like what's new in the mod versus not. Um, and it seems like a really cool, like very full and robust mod. So, go you. Um... But yeah, I, I, uh, I was going to say I should have bugged you. Maybe we could, we, we got to figure out how to do the, um, the dual streaming or whatever it's called, squad stream and all that stuff. I'm a, it's a whole new experience. Yeah, absolutely it is. Absolutely. And like I said, I don't, I don't know a lot about Stardew, but I can tell how much is, is added. Um, it must be really cool from the perspective of someone who like loves the game, you know. That, that's that's excellent. Um, but yeah, we'll fi we'll figure out the the test thingy sometime. I'm very busy this week. Uh, like I'm probably only gonna stream for like an hour, maybe 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 two hours. We'll see how long Nina's napping. We'll see how long she naps for. <laughs> um, but maybe next week. Maybe next week we can get together somehow, some way. Oh, actually, uh, and I, you know, I've been texting you nonstop about the uh, the tag team run, uh, and, and I'm sure you. Oh, geez, I almost killed this thing. We gotta catch it. <laughs> I'm paying attention. Um, I uh, I did some testing, and uh, we can 100% like open up a Ruby ROM. And like load it with a sapphire save as long as it's named the right thing um and like whatever files or emulator or whatever you're using as long as it's named correctly it just runs it like no problem no questions nothing asked um so i'm really excited like we can just boot up you know like say you started off and you get up to the first badge with uh Trying to think of what we can use early on in the game for the run. Yeah, it's super cool. It's super, super cool. It just, like, works. It's It doesn't even, you know, it, it just keeps your trainer name and whatever. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty pumped for it. Uh, okay, give us a big Meowth. Slightly bigger than average. Eh, nope, not big enough. Oh, you know what else I want to do once some, sometime? Uh, I really, I really want to record us talking about um, your run through the game with just LeChonk. I still got to record that too. Like I said, I've been a busy boy and we've been texting, so there's no rush or pressure. Not just you know me. I got a million things I'm excited about. You just happen to be involved in a lot of them. <laughs> it sounded rude. I, I'm, I'm excited to work on things with you. Is what I'm saying. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, life is good. Are you playing the um, the Xenoblade Three DLC? Have you been playing it yet? I remember you saying something about it in chat a bit ago? But I was curious if you actually started it up. Sweet, very cool, very cool. Oh, come on, Phantom Meowth. Another Phantom Meowth. <laughs> 
Right, 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 right. Yeah, you are. That makes sense. Ah, I should have known. I wasn't sure if... <laughs> and I know that they're like really long series too. That's on me. <laughs> I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> Man, I'm on your channel right now. Episode 46. And they're long episodes, too. Man. I don't know how you do it. God, go you. Probably be months. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And I can't imagine, like, because I know that this is like... And I don't, again, I don't know anything about Xenoblade, but I know that this DLC is big. Like, it's, it's got cool stuff in it. So I'm excited for when you get to there. You there, Meowth? You there? Yes, you are. Hi, Meowth. But I'm excited for you. I hope you're liking Xenoblade 3. I'm sure you are. I, I hop in and check out your videos every now and then. But, uh, I, I, you know, that's one of those things where it's like, I don't know anything <laughs> about so it's, as much as I try and absorb the content it just kind of goes over my head but yeah it, it looks like it rules it, it looks like it absolutely rules I can't believe and we talked about this again so I'm gonna repeat myself but whatever I can't believe that tears of the kingdom is like what next week I think it's next week I, yeah I think it is Man. Yeah. Oh, you're going to stream that? Excellent. I'm very excited to watch you stream that. That'll be great. Because I don't know if I'm getting it launch. I really want to. Yeah, it's like the 12th or something like that. Um. Yeah, like I said, I'm just a busy boy. Hi, Pikachu. You do just hang out after the battle, though, huh? That's cute. All right, let's go check this Meowth. Um, I want to get it at launch, I, I, but I don't know. I'm also not, like, pressed to get it day one. It's a game that's not going to go anywhere, but it is a game that's going to be really fun when everyone plays it at the same time. So I'm at least making sure I play it with my friend group. That's Game Store Friend got us. Ooh, very cool. Yeah, I hear. I hear it's a. That's a nice get. I hear that's a nice. Did you get the OLED too? I have to assume you did, or at least tried. What do we got? Slight bigger than average. Still not big enough. Boosh. Yeah, beautiful. That's an. That's an awesome system. It, it looks so nice. I, uh... I, I play handheld enough where, like, I wouldn't mind upgrading to an OLED at some point. Um... But, I just don't need it. I got my Monster Hunter one. I got my Sword and Shield Switch Lite as well. So, I'm pretty good. But the OLEDs are nice. And, you know, back when I worked at Best Buy... I, uh, I would sell OLED TVs. So I'm, like, already bought in on the OLED, you know, scene. I'm, I'm like, a full dope about it. I hope these meals have been different. I think they are. I think we've been getting different sizes. I think I, I've been kind of led. Yeah, we've had boy ones and these is a girl one, so we're good. I actually did upgrade to an OLED very recently, because we got it at like half price because the box. Ooh, that's a steal. You can't beat that. That rules. Nothing like a good deal. Yeah, and that's what I hear. I, I hear it's like. Yeah, like you don't really know anyone who's bought it specifically f I don't know anyone who's bought it specifically for the upgrade of the screen but the second it's like in your hands it's like oh shoot this actually is very nice so 
maybe someday. Maybe someday. But we'll see. I was going to say maybe if they come out with a Pokemon one, but I remember they did. And it's really nice. Nina actually, we, we tried to get that. And uh, now it's, eh, now it's, I think we didn't like Scarlet and Violet enough to warrant spending another $300 system to buy a fifth switch in the house is what I'm saying. We like the game a lot, but <laughs> not, not enough for that. Waiting for a model with new hardware. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I do like the idea of the, the LAN adapter in the dock. Um, but that's really like it. The, you know what? For me, honestly, this is such a lame thing. But I really like the kickstand. I like the bigger kickstand in the back. I play tabletop mode enough where that's a genuine benefit for me. Serious biggin. Not big enough. Not big enough, I would say. Right? <laughs> it's such a silly, like, thing. But it's it's so it's so small. But it's like it's a it's a uh, that's the thing. It's a big thing. It's a big kickstand. But if you if you use these things, then it's genuinely uh, a huge benefit for sure. So that rules. Uh, you got me excited about the. Uh, potentially doing a Kyogre hunt soon because part of the reason I want to play through Sapphire I think I, I think I texted you these exact words but the reason I want to play through the Sapphire version is so that I have a Sapphire copy to shiny hunt because then I can have a, a Sapphire a Ruby and an Emerald to hunt on which will be pretty cool but that'll be fun nice very cool Do, how many uh, are you doing like hard cartridge or are you going to be running, you know, <clears throat> another way of playing the game? Not that it matters, obviously, but just curious. Because, you you know, for me, I'm going to be using Blissey's uh, e-reader stuff, which will be really wild. Just an excuse to use the e-reader is going to be excellent. This darned me out, I tell you. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah, that sounds really nice. That sounds really, really nice. Um, I really meant to get... I'd love to have, like, a Rotom to do this encounter with. one real copy and one yeah that's fine i mean you know no uh, you, you're not going to hear me uh giving you a hard time <laughs> matt <laughs> it's not my fault i i should be working he probably can't even hear me i could we could probably say whatever we want about matt right now and he would never even know because he's working But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I don't know what it is, but every, like, at least a couple months, I want to play through a Gen 3 game. Which is, like... I think it's just because it's so quick. Because it's so quick, it's it's so fun to tear through those games. It's, uh... It, that's part of the appeal, you know? And I'm really excited to use a bunch of weird Pokemon, too. Check my Meow, please. Slight bigger than average. Not big enough. Like Lotad, Lunatone, Solrock. I, that's the other reason I wanted to play through Sapphire, is because I just used a Solrock in a playthrough 
and it was really good. Soul Rock is actually excellent um, in those games. It's crazy. You wouldn't you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't expect it. Video games. I'm going to look at the, the exclusives again. Not that we're using purely exclusives, but you know. It's just how my brain works. Like I get hyper fixated on things. So it's like this run is one of the few things that's been like I wake up and I go, Oh my god. I can't wait to play <laughs> can't wait to play through Sapphire again. That's <laughs> so lame. I really gotta play other games. Actually, we're about to start up, um, I say I have to play other games, we've been playing a ton. We just finished Apollo Justice, and then after playing Apollo Justice, we played the first Professor Layton game, and then now we're playing Jedi Fallen Order, the first one. We haven't finished the first one, so we're going back to that. Um, pretty darn good. Interactable Pokemon. Mechanics. Where is... I swear I was just looking at... Version exclusive Pokemon. There we go. Yes. Yes. I, I missed... I just... I'm just reading your first couple... Your most recent messages. But yeah. Like, using weirdos is going to be so much fun. What do we got? Yeah, like Mawile? Ugh. I'm really excited to use a Viper. Isn't that weird? Na name one other person on this planet that has said those words. <laughs> Ooh, a Sableye? Sable are Sableye and Mawile? Do you think they're opposites? I mean, one's exclusive to one game and one's the other, so. One, two, three, four. Name another Pokemon that has a battle facility built. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got me there, yeah. <laughs> Quick, we need a Pokemon that's really long. We gotta build a long building. Jerry, that building you're building uh, kind of looks like a Viper, don't you think? Hey, you know what? I think it does. Let's paint it as such. Beautiful. Hoenn construction workers. Uh, doing the Lord's work. Really. Big or small. I mean, it's big. Serious biggin. I wonder if I could make a sandwich. Do you think a sandwich would affect this? No, there's no way, because it already spawns in. Hmm. So what are our teams looking like? It looks like I'm going to have at least, I mean, you know, we can use whatever else, but Lunatone, Viper, Sableye, Ludicolo, uh, Minun, and what else? Something that isn't an exclusive, but... Ooh, I've, you know, I, I forgot about that. The double sandwich making, but the Meowth has already spawned as soon as I turn the game on. So, maybe not now, but we should, maybe, you know what? How about, oh, Flygon and Salamence. Oh my god! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! That's good. Oh, now, I'm back to it's all. Let's, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Maybe next week we can plan for like a test stream where maybe we just like shiny hunt and goof around and scarlet and violet or something. Um. I say that, but I won't have access to my regular violet file. We'll figure something out. Whatever, we'll goof around, whatever.
But that would be fun. That would be a good way to, uh, you know, test stuff out, see how things work, whatever. Even if we don't like... <laughs> ah, old Paldea hide and seek. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh. Um, what was I going to say? Sorry, I keep shaking the camera. I feel like it's annoying for the eyes. Um, yeah, totally gone. Train of thought. Oh, I was going to say, even if we, um, if I even keep just hunting Meowth while you do whatever you do, we stream at the same time. We see what the squad stream looks like then. And maybe maybe that's when I can interview you about your run. Something like that. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Slight bigger than average. It's a sight bigger. See, that's so confusing. A sight bigger than average. Three birds, one stone. Exactly. Egg. Exactly. This guy gets it. <clears throat> I do, you know, as much as I I am enjoying these resets. I wouldn't mind finding Jumbo Meowth. I thought that I would be able to see it. I thought that I'd be able to, like, noticeably recognize a bigger Meowth. But there have been, like, three encounters where I've been like, oh, that one's definitely it. And it's been like, no, this one's actually really small. So whoops. Yeah. Stinks to stink. The giant aura, yeah. For sure. Ooh. Only three. Thank goodness. Now we're faster. Beautiful. Are you, uh, are you familiar with Safari Week? The shiny hunting event? Curious if you're going to be looking for anything during Safari Week. I got a whole thing planned out. <clears throat> I mean, it's not much of a whole thing. I'm going to be hunting in this shit. I'm gonna be shiny hunting in the safari zone. <laughs> uh, no, it, it's not a Pokemon Go event. It's uh, just a, a shiny hunting event in the main series games. It's just something that like the shiny hunting community started and does. Um, where basically just for a week, everyone shiny hunts in the safari zone. That's kind of it, and it's uh, it's fun because even if you know, even if you find a shiny, it could run away from you. You're not guaranteed to keep it. So, uh, it's it's fun because everything's really tense. Everything's like, oh my gosh, I got something. Oh, but wait. Oh, it could run away. Oh no. And so it's every everyone likes to, you know, make it. Everyone makes a big thing out of it. Everyone shares their finds. And everyone streams and all that stuff. I don't think I could handle the heartbreak. I, I get it. I, I'm a... Uh, fortunate and unfortunate enough where I'm last year I didn't find anything uh, I got 10,000 encounters in and uh, I didn't find anything so I'm due uh, I did it in uh, Diamond and Pearl actually no just Gen 4 in general um, and I didn't find anything but this year we're, we're, we're going to the Great Marsh Nothing but great marsh this year. 
I'm going to try to have at least four systems set up. Uh, and I might even have a buddy mod some DS's of mine. Put all that bank shiny luck towards Kyogre. Be for life. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it, you know, it's, I, I was going to try and cook up some, uh, some crazy hunt to do in the safari zone. I was thinking about fishing for Magikarp or something. Um, just for kicks and giggles and stuff, but, uh, then I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get shiny beauf all over again. All over the place. Shiny beauf here, shiny beauf there. And I'm excited about it. Yeah, well, because part of the thing about getting Kyogre is I have a shiny Rayquaza. Um, I'm going for a shiny Kyogre. Eventually, I gotta get a. Uh, eventually, I gotta get shiny Groudon too. So I don't have a choice. I know somebody who's um. I know people that do that. Uh, for the the pool in the resort area, I'll I'll send you a video of uh, actually I'll do it right now. Uh, uh, YouTube guy I like Absol Pokemon blocks. I've talked about him a ton. He did a he raised a Pokemon to level one hundred just by battling Magikarp in that resort. Um, and I think he found a couple. Uh, I think he found a kind of. Sh uh, I think he found a couple shinies along the way. Rather, seen that video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. It's a. It's a really good one. Yeah, I sent it. I sent it to you anyway. Info. This that. I forget what's going on. I'm getting distracted. Keep getting distracted. I gotta get back into this. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah, he's he's the best. He is uh he's so fun and so cool. He's just like watching someone who genuinely loves the games and the series and everything. Uh it is 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 so like refreshing. Really good dude. Not you. Serious big end. But not big enough. I'm proud of that one. If you can't tell. Yeah. I might be getting some Meowth stickers I made. I might be getting some Meowth stickers made. Is what I was trying to say. One hunt that I would consider. Whoa, the Coliseum bonus disc. That is crazy. But it's great. Do you have the disc? I do, if you want to borrow it. That is, that is a crazy hunt. But it would be such a cool prize. I don't think that can be transferred up. I think the shiny can't be transferred up, which is like kind of extra cool. Oh, nice. Well, hey, if you want an extra. <laughs> There's that Bonsley. I knew he was around somewhere. Oh, it can. Okay, excellent. Sweet. Hello, kitty cat. Sweet. Very cool. Very cool. Well, I think the shiny, I don't know if, if that's what you're talking about. I think the shiny can't be transferred up. But if it can, then that's excellent. Because um, it's it's legal. I mean, if you can do it, you can. So it'd be kind of silly if it couldn't. But I feel silly for transferring up all of my event Pokemon from years ago. I mean, like, you know, whatever. But, like, I got my mystery Mew sitting in the... Sitting in home. Uh, I actually think... I think I got two? Maybe I took one from my friend or something. 
Because I have one in my pearl as well. Yeah, static coming through. But I think that was the first, like, event Pokemon. That mean 100% was the first event Pokemon I got. I love that thing. That's really nice. That's a good place to keep them. I think I, I started to get nervous after my white 2 got corrupted and I had a ton of stuff. That, that was like my main game for a while. And I traded everything. I tried to transfer everything from that into Bank. And Bank was new at the time. So it actually corrupted my save and I lost everything. But I think since then, I've, you know, whether I remember it or not, I'm always like, okay, actually, it's going to be safe at home. So I guess it has been. Really glad that I have ability. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, like you just said, the backups is, is invaluable, genuinely invaluable to me. I've backed up all my saves uh, on DSs, and then I've also dumped all those saves onto my computer. I'm glad you got that thing working with the DS cards. I had to be scared. I was like, oh no, what, what crazy thing did I do? <laughs> to it yeah me have please slight bigger than average and it's only three o'clock all right Ooh, yeah. this might actually be my last one for now me off number 70 I still got some stuff I gotta work on today but I wanted to give myself a break um, got a crazy weekend ahead of me, and I want to make sure I'm ready for it. But let's see. All right, I think this is it. I think this Meowth is going to be the big one. Yeah, I'm really glad you tuned in. You know, as much as I, I'm used to talking to myself. <laughs> It's, it's always nice uh, catching up and talking Pokemon and stuff. And we'll uh, we'll absolutely plan for next week. Um, I don't know what day. I think I'm working a lot next week. Um, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. And if there's any day that, if there's any day that works better for you too, let me know. But uh, even if it's in the PM, you know, maybe we'll make that work too. Who knows? Cool. That sounds great. We will make it happen. Ugh. Is this going to be another one where we, where we lose? How much health does Meowth have left? He has full health. No, not full health. I was looking at the, at the health bar for Paldea and Meowth. Ooh, but that's not good. Oh, but he took it. Come on. Sweet. It's because you're here. That's why this Lechonk is doing work. He said, oh no, the, Le the Lechonk King is here. I gotta at least try. Choose next Pokemon. For sure. I believe it. It's true. 100%. I have no doubts. Oh, no. Yeah. Sweet. All right, Jumbo Meowth. Because I know that this is a Jumbo Meowth. Uh, 
Let's do it. Meowth number 70. Drum roll. Drum roll, please. Da -da 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 Show me big. Serious big. Not big enough. Well, once again, 